hi guys welcome to another video so today's video will be a simple look trying to use as less products as possible so these are the products that I will grab if I'm in a rush because I know they work I know they're gonna get the job done I don't have to think about it so yeah focusing mainly on women over 40 because you know we don't like to do too much well I don't like to do too much so this is an effortless look for me so if you want to see the products I use and how I got this look make sure you keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye guys okay guys so jumping right into it you all know that I use my Urban Decay Eden I said this numerous times it's the best eyeshadow primer in my opinion right now it makes my eyeshadows last all day they don't budge they don't move they don't smear it doesn't crease I think that's the main reason why I like it because it doesn't crease so it works out good for me and then I'll just take a sponge to blend it out that way I make sure I don't have any crease creases before I put the eyeshadow on and I'm using this Too Faced uh, chocolate liquid eyeshadow all the items will be in the description box of course so this is the only thing I'm putting on my lid today and I just took I think this brush is from BH Cosmetics so I just take that and just pat I'm really patting and then swiping at the edge of it on my lid and that's the only shadow I use and as you can see it's so pigmented and so pretty and I think I use that primer just to make sure it doesn't move I really wish they had this in a brown you all know I love all my brown shades so I really wish they had this in a brown but yeah I'm just blending it out with a brush you know to give it some kind of shape then I'm taking this Milani um, no, pore, no Pore Zone Primer that I picked up from Target a couple of weeks ago. So I'm using that to prime my face. I wanted to use it. I brought it. I said, let me use it. I need to use it. And I'm taking this MAC Primer, Skin Perfect Primer. And I found that in my stash. So I said, let me use this. This, I I think when I purchased this, I really wanted to get the yellow one and made a mistake of getting this one by mistake and didn't want to take it back. So I ended up just trying to use it here and there. Bam. Concealer, NC50 Hold On Wear Concealer. I have been using this as a foundation for years. I think when I first started makeup, this is what I used to do. Use this concealer as a foundation. You know you're covered. You know it's not going to crease. You know it's not going to move. It's not going to go anywhere. So yeah, I love this. This is my very, very quick routine. When I don't want to have to think of a foundation that's going to last me all day. Or a foundation that might crease on me. Or a foundation that might get too oily. Then I just reach for this concealer. So I'm just using a sponge to blend it out. Make sure I don't have any streaks or anything. And I'm using this MAC NC50 concealer. I forget. It's Studio Tech. Studio Tech concealer. So I'll just use this to highlight. And as you can see, the Polon Wear Concealer is my skin tone. This concealer, same number, but Studio Tech is slightly lighter. So you have to be really careful with that when purchasing from MAC because just you don't wear NC50 in everything, I guess. I don't know. So I'm using my contour stick. Y'all know which one it is. I'm not going to shout it out because you should know. <laughs> so I'm just taking that and I'm blending it out with a random brush to give me some cheekbones, some definition, some, some, some kind of shape to my face instead of just round. <laughs> and I'm using this Real Techniques brush to blend out this concealer. And I'm so happy that I found this brush. It was in my stash somewhere and I just recently found it. So yeah, I'm happy I found it. If you're looking for a brush that will blend out your concealer, your under eye concealer flawlessly without it creasing or looking cakey or heavy underneath your eyes, then yeah, use that concealer. So I'm just blending it out. 
I don't really, I don't think about it too much. I wonder, I don't know. I wonder if there's any new wig concealers out there that I need to try. I don't know. I need to buy more makeup. I need to use exactly what I have instead of picking up makeup I'm not going to use. So I'm just using my brush to blend out the edges to make sure I don't have any creases or anything. Now, why am I so close to y'all? Why do I have this camera so close? But <laughs> we're here now. So I'm using my Too Faced Peach Perfect Caramelized Peach powder best powder in my opinion this and the sasha buttercup this Too Faced is it's a banana kind of shade but it's like got a hint of peach in it so it's kind of darker without being too dark like i think it's perfect for brown skin for a highlight for me it is i'm just taking my brush and blending it out what did i use y'all Oh, I use my MAC um, Studio Tech Powder in NW48. I have no idea why I had that color, where I got that color from. Why did I choose that color? I don't have any idea. I found it in my stash. I say I'm going to use it. It kind of blends with my skin, so I don't know. Hmm. So I'm just using the 8D Morphe palette to add a little blush. Y'all know I rarely ever, 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 never, ever do blush. But I just want a little extra. So I decided to do blush. And I'm using that um, Beauty Bakery truffle. Is it truffle or something? It'll be in the description. Lip. Liquid lipstick. Salama lips. It'll stay all day. If you're looking for a brown lip liner, this stays all day. It doesn't move until you wipe it off. Then I'm using the same liquid eyeshadow I had on a brush and making it as a lipstick. I don't know if it was supposed to be as a lipstick. I hope my lips didn't fall off. I guess they didn't because I'm still here. So yeah, and they didn't fall off. So I thought, why not? And my MAC Fix Plus spray in the matte edition. I love this spray. I think I love the sound of the bottle more than I do the spray. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. Something very quick and simple. This would be my go-to look. It's something I don't have to think about. I have been using this MAC Concealer, Pro Longwear Concealer as foundation for years, probably ever since it came out. It's the best. If you want a light, full coverage, <laughs> if that makes sense. Something light, but it will still give you full coverage. I've been using this for years like this. So, if you enjoyed this look, please make sure you keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, of course, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.